All right, guys, if you want to know how you make your own abstract art, stay tuned because I'm going to show you how I transform the IKEA painting that you saw in the last video, the shop with me, and how I transform it into my own personal abstract art that's going to give me that minimalistic, classy vibe that I'm looking for and not too cluttered. So if you want to see how I transform that picture um, into something different and special for my space, stay tuned. If you haven't seen that video yet on the shop with me at Ikea, you might want to go to watch that first and then come back to this one so you can see some of the items I picked up for my dining room. All right, guys, quick recap of what I'm looking to do in my dining room transformation. You know, I want the huge abstract art in the background, removing the clutter off the counter, adding some flowers or planter in the corner, new chairs, and I would like to add new lighting. Of course, you're not going to see this transformation all completely done today you have to stay tuned for the next video to see the dining room transformation but for today we're going to focus on the abstract art right now you're looking at my inspiration for what i would like to do but not exactly like that as you can see abstract art can be very costly but it's okay we're going to save ourselves half that if not more by doing it ourselves i'm going to use this painting that i got from ikea and we're going to hack it and transform it into something unique and different modern and of course contemporary and right now we're just gonna tape up the co the corners of the frame so that way i can paint the actual frame black to give me the desired look i'm looking for and also to um, protect the inside as you can see i started painting it with wall paint any wall paint that you're looking for which took like several layers like maybe two or three layers to actually cover that painting because it was pretty transparent through the paint. But I finally got that out the way. Right now, I'm just going to get ready to start painting. At this point, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to do. I just decided to just let me start the, putting the brush to the paint. I added that strip of um, painter's tape in the middle to give me like a, a gap just in case I wanted to add something different or I don't know what I was doing, but I just decided, let me just do this. So I have like a, a, a point of reference. Uh, right now I'm just painting away, going across. I, I wanted something that would be a conversational piece. And right now I'm going for something um, minimalistic where there's more white on the painting than color. So I already knew that this whole artwork would not be painted it would just mostly be like a small section of it painted with a little bit of black and a little bit of gold and of course I wanted to say a story so right now in my mind I'm thinking okay I'm going to paint something that um says that you're coming out of the darkness and into the light and that there's always hope um at the end of the tunnel so that's what you're going to probably see towards the end Right now, it, the video is really long. It took me about an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm going to spare you that time and I'm going to speed the video up and I'll get back to you at the end of the video and show you the final product.
right guys now that you see how i transformed it tell me what you think and if you like it hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and thank you for tuning in